as predicted the stock market has begun to range in this box so are we in the distribution stage or we are in the accumulation stage so for those of us who are very new in this market this is the accumulation stage and this is the bullish run and this area here is the distribution stage and this when it's coming down is actually the markdown stage so the question is are we actually expecting a pullback from this region after this ranging market of course you can't say yes or no but until we check some dynamics to prove that the market is actually ready to give up some gains aside the ones it has been given up on so right now what i want to let you guys know is as we are currently looking at this market we've seen the ranging and what we need to be sure that the market will continue to go up is because of this stochastic rsi so the stochastic rsi has actually crossed but that not saying it cannot cross back because these things are just indicators because they actually pick up information or invent after it has happened and they also give insight or should i call it foresight so this is all we are going to discuss and we'll know if we are going up or if we are going down without wasting time my name is investor joseph and you are welcome to the investors palace in case you don't know i teach about crypto and teach about stocks both local and foreign stock my community member just made close to 80 percent from a particular trade we took last week and this week we are also expecting similar or more than the same percentage from a particular stock we've taken position so far and don't forget i gave a stock which i advise you guys to buy this is it for 30 percent profit and this has actually deep beyond the price i gave it and i want you guys to still average down on it because it's going to give this return just like i said the stock has no choice but to give this return because if you check the ngs right now there is a press release from updc that updc has been granted the opportunity to continue trading because they actually gave them three years to meet up with the standard because if you check updc when you want to buy you'll be given um You'll be seeing BLS that is below listing standard. That BLS actually put away some investor. But now that they've granted them the um, leverage of three to two years for them to complete it, this is it for them to come up with a billion naira. That is the free float based on the market capitalization for companies listed on its main board. So these are many more we are going to discuss. And we are still going to discuss the top gainers and which stock we will actually want to pay attention to so without wasting time let's move straight into today's conversation i'm of the opinion uh if you're in my community i've been advising them a long time ago to take away their profit from the market and that is not saying the market is not going to run up but what you want to do you want to take away your money from the market and do some rough calculation to see how much you've been able to make from this bull run that started last year and came to an odd early february so this will give you insight on how you are going to trade the market going forward now you realize your profit you've seen your gain and you are good to go now you now know what you have now so you'll be taking this one as a fresh capital for example you started with a hundred million and as a result of the bull run you were able to make two or three hundred million now your 300 million you have it now so you want to start investing like a fresher so all you need to do now which I've told them in my group, I recommended one stock, which we are patiently waiting for the stock to give us numbers. We are looking at minimum 100% on that particular stock. So that is why you that have been viewing my videos, I think of, no, I have to give you guys something that will give you guys money also. That is why I introduced you to UPDC. And we are going to look at UPDC and the price I gave you guys then and what you are going to do about it so if you look at what is going on now of course 
if we all know what will happen in the market, the market will not be in existence because there will be no need for the market. But for the fact that the market will always play us, we always do its thing, and um, a lot of people will choose one particular part, a lot of people will follow one particular thesis, and from there, the market will surprise us. So what we have right now is a ranging market. This market has been ranging for 21 days now. The opinion that in a short while, this market will pull back because it is normal in the market of course when there is a pullback we say it's a bear market it is not a bear market because if the pullback is not up to 20 percent you don't call it bear market you call it pullback and the pullback means it's coming to gather momentum to shoot up back so what i want you guys to do right now is to be able to do some certain research because you see even though the market is bearish even in times of covid 19 when everything was red one particular stock was still green which is still PLC now called Con Hall. So that stock was standing green. So there is always a bull market in a bear market. And there is always a bear market in a bull market. As you are celebrating gains that you've been able to achieve, some people were not able to celebrate such gains because the stocks they actually bought didn't do those numbers. So that is what you need to pay attention to so once i'm telling you take your profit i'm not saying the old market will go down mm -mm. that's not what i'm saying but we are at this top right now and a wise man will always want to take profit another opportunity you will get to take profit is when corporate disclosures start coming out you want to take advantage of that because if you go through the market you see the ranging push ranging push ranging push so you see all of them happening the same way so will this time be different that is the question we want to ask ourselves are we going to get another ranging push are we going to get another ranging push here so we need in another catalyst which will be the corporate disclosure so the corporate disclosure will be the one that will push this away from here and move to the upside so if you now get an opportunity for another upside you want to quickly take profit the reason why you're taking profit is not because the market is not healthy but because a lot of things is happening in our country a lot of um, groups are saying different kinds of things and you know immediately you hear there is a nationwide strike what you want to see in the market is massive deep and if you have cash then that is when you want to take opportunity of good stocks that uh, you can profit from so that is why i'm saying you should sit more in cash at this point but i we are not praying for that we are looking for our country to be good i also pray for the president yesterday for wisdom and um, also those that are advising him so that um, a lot of things will, will be okay for most especially the poor masses it's very very because sometimes when people have money are facing hardship you wonder those that cannot even predict their their meal in the next five days or four days so you know how it is so that is why i i dedicate uh, yesterday dedicated yesterday for praying praying for our president and those around him and also people that are, that have this knowledge or idea or wisdom on how to make things work you understand so that is um, what i center my prayer on so that is to say um, god will take control you understand but we still plan you know you you plan for the best and prepare for the worst so if the worst happen you are in cash and if it continues up you are in a particular stock uh, based on my community i give them that particular stock that once this continue will enjoy from that when it's coming down we'll also take advantage of it so because um, um i saw um, some informations about protest date and all that so we all have to be careful because these are some light information you know it is hard for for a plane to take off but once it's flying just a little mistake can bring it down so just a little push now the market is up a little information here guys a little information and you see everything coming down because this pullback is normal but we just need to tie the pullback to an event and that is why i'm taking time to explain what is going on despite the fact that the stochastic rsi is telling us that this is a buy zone that one can actually load so individual stocks some of them are at the buy zone and some are at the position where you just want to take your profit now and also wait to buy low so that you make good profit so if we look at the weekly chart right now on 
the all share index you will realize that when you look at it on the weekly chart you will see that a pullback is necessary so you don't just get carried away by the daily chart because the daily chart might not cover everything you need to know everything that is happening in the market but the weekly chart try to condense a lot of information into one so if you look at it right now it is waiting for just one news just one event and we see a drop back here which will be like a reset or a market correction you can see it happens in all these areas you can see them let's put the chart up what you see came down here moved to this place and this just this red you can see what it signifies there. then before we see another push so we still need maybe one or two red to bring this rsi to this place in terms of the weekly and if we look at the monthly we'll see that we are just getting here so the range might just continue a why based on the daily information we got here it cannot show here because i'm looking at the monthly so these are some informations i want you guys to pay attention to before we move into individual stocks and if you come to the four hours it will actually show you how it is you can see that the market has been ranging in this box here you can see it started the ranging in this area it started ranging in this area so if we want to extend if we want to extend this we've actually range for a month we actually range for a month and see what is going on here on the four hours so there should be a cross downward look at the four hours chart telling us that today's market should be a bit bearish so guys the tension in the land because people that are investing are people who live in your country who understand the economy who understand what is going on and the exchange rate is something else is going up every day and i heard some some brewery company that are trying to increase their prices you know when there is no money and people are increasing you know stuff like that so these are the little things you want to pay attention to and see that okay i think this might reflect in the market because it is this same human being that are that are thinking like me that are in the market too you want to act fast you want to act ahead of them before the whole crowd we act the same way and you see everything coming down that is not what you want to do so last week look at what happened we have top gainers these are boa food why is boa food going on because people need to eat so this is boa food so people need to eat you can see what boa food has been doing boa food has been going up you can see it started from this place and it has been shooting up look at what is happening now boa food is high and expecting a pullback but we might not see this pullback we might just see a continuous rally because even though the country is hard, everything is difficult, you still take meal, you still eat your food. And that is why you want to pay attention to boa food and see if you can take advantage of any pull back. Another one you need you still need to pay attention to. PZ PZ also is another one that gained 10% uh last week. Let's see what happened to PZ based on the chart analysis. So look at PZ. Okay, look at PZ and uh, this is the hourly chart. Let's go to daily so that we can get um, the information right. Let's do weekly. Okay, you can see what is happening. PZ is currently at the resistant level here. PZ is at the resistant level here. So you can see what PZ is doing. PZ gained 10% last week. So let's look at um, Geregu. Gerigu is another one because, like I said, even though there is no food, even though things are tough, people will still use electricity. So you can see Gerigu. You can see Gerigu. Gerigu that is selling for three, for three thirty, three hundred, four hundred. Look at what Gerigu is doing. Almost three hundred. Oh, sorry, almost hundred uh, percent going to two hundred percent. Look at what Gerigu is doing. Nine hundred and one percent. So you can see gains that a lot of people have made from these particular companies so if you come down here you see these are the two companies that did 10 percent and uh, also this other one did nine percent girigu and we see julius Baja did another 10 percent we see judy we see darkcom we see e-transact we see computer we see first bank and we see transcomp and we also see industrial america we see japo gold doing um 5.26 percent and we also see Mazad, we see Charms, uh, the um, Unity Bank, Naco. So you see a lot of them. These are these are stocks that actually um, did well last week. Let's look at the big losers and see 
what is going on with the big losers so you can see you can see livestock actually down flower me down you can see mayor initiate some new insurance mary's ellen lakes reagents you see you see all of them on the world all of them were just coming down so you see all of them coming down so these are some stocks that came down so like i said i told you guys to buy updc so and most of you did not buy and you didn't inform me if you if any of you is actually taking the this action in the comment section but currently uh updc is selling for 160 which of course is still within the range i asked you guys to go in so in case you didn't get information last week you can still go in but of course the market will rally because of the information they've posted so let's look at the ngs uh, informations that are there so we have updc so the board of directors of updc uh hereby notifies esteemed shareholders that the ngs regulation limited has approved the company request for extension of time to achieve the required free float threshold within two years that's from 2024 to 2026 so they've actually applied that they should give them time to actually raise it which is 20 billion naira so that will now make them to be a standard um, company trading in the ngs so they have two years to do this and of course there might be of course there should be a plan on how to do this so this is just to inform the public and this news will actually make a lot of people to go back to the stock because people don't like the stock because they see that below listing standard so people run away from it but we that have been in the market uh -huh, we understand how it works so your 30 percent is sure just ensure you take it as soon as possible so that a lot of people will not come and dump on you so this is nigerian brewery of course they posted a negative result you can see and um, this we actually punish the stock and um um, this is as a result of a lot of people don't drink beer again they don't have money to do that and that's fine uh for those who like beer uh apologies but that's just how it is at least uh it will make you to be a bit you know just take water and um you're good to go so i don't want to offend anybody here so i'm just trying to <laughs> let's just face what we are doing so the company actually posted a negative result you can see from this to this you can see zero points of course it's not too bad but you know Profit is profit, even though it is small profit, but when you are now have a loss. <laughs> so let's see how the market will react to this information. So also, yeah, you can get information here. Uh, the change is actually 64 from 180 million to 65 million. You know, so you can see what is currently happening. This is not an encouraging one, and this is not uh, so good for the company. And I don't know why it's like that, but that it is what it is. So this is Nemit also. Nemit has the same issue. The board of director of Nemit International hereby notifies esteemed shareholders that the NGS Regulation Limited has approved the company request for extension of time to achieve required free float threshold within two years. So they've given them similar information with that of um, UPDC. So guys, in case you're still watching, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified to my post and reaching videos like this. So guys, this is my YouTube channel. Share it in the community. Let uh, youths get interested in investing in our market. I notice a lot of youths are not in this market. And that is why I kept doing this video. If you check, I don't have those thousand views on this video. But because I am determined to encourage youth in our country to actually pay attention to this particular market because guys it will give you opportunity to make wife changing money you understand money that your wife will change it will give you that leverage to make it so that is why also you can also make your you can also make the money you need in this market for your wedding uh, your child's name is ceremony your projects that car you want to buy a lot of things you want to do you can actually make that money in this market and just in case you don't like trading nigerian stock i also have um, a community where we can trade foreign stocks also we've made good gains from foreign stocks and uh, this was three foreign stocks i actually gave out uh, for free for those who want to invest long time I actually gave facebook here and tesla so uh, that is what we do in our community and you can check a link on uh, the courses on the link to the communities on seller and once you join you have leverage you have advantage to watch our previous masterclass and also you can take part in the current masterclass that is about to happen next week so guys don't forget to also subscribe and don't forget to 
And don't forget to kill your excuses and take action. You've been postponing that you will do it, you will do it, and you've been leaving money on the table. So please take action and take advantage of what is going on. A lot of my, a lot of our members in those who trade foreign stocks, they've made more than 50% of what they have in their portfolio. And the target is to make their portfolio 100% before three months or four months. So that's our target. And God helping us, we are going to achieve it and we are going to celebrate the achievement. So thank you so much for watching. Until we see you again, keep making money and keep protecting your profit. I love you, my friends. Bye.